This device is called the recloser. It's a very important device used to protect overhead distribution lines from any short circuit. The question is, how this device is different than the cutout fuse that is also used to protect the uh, distribution lines from short circuit? How it works and other uh, important information, uh, please join me to discuss the functionalities, the fundamentals of the recloser device. Let's explain what is the functionality of the recloser. So, first of all, most of the faults in overhead lines, especially the distribution one, are temporary in nature, like due to lightning, uh, a flash over because of the pollution on an insulator, animal touching the line, and so on and so forth. Uh, this is why when we have such a fault, which is temporary in nature, we don't want to have a system that open circuit permanently. We want to have a protection system that temporarily also clear the fault and try to reignite the system again to check if the fault has been cleared or not. And that is basically the main functionality of the recloser. It basically it open and close, open and close to make sure that the fault, if the fault is basically temporary in nature, and if it's cleared, then the system will recover without the need to send someone to do any fixing to the, to the distribution uh, system. But there is something also very important to understand is how to coordinate the recloser with another overcurrent protection which is the cutout fuse. We talked about that before, and it's used to protect transformer against overload or against a fault as well. So let's see the coordination, how it's happening. So imagine that I have here, this is my feeder, and there is a recloser at the beginning of the feeder, and then the, there are some laterals, and each one is protected by a fuse. So assume that these are the cutout fuses, and these are the specific loads. Now, assume we have here a fault happening in the system. Now, the fault could be temporary or could be permanent. So let's assume it is temporary fault to start with. Now, this is the action of the fuse. So here is the load current, and then we have a fault current happening here. So what will the uh, closer do? It will basically try to open and close very fast. Okay? It open and close. Why is doing this? It does that to protect the fuse from melting. So when the at the beginning of the operation of the recloser, the recloser is the primary protection system, the fuse is the backup protection system. So it does that usually two times: open, close, open, close very, very fast. So if the fault cleared by itself, then the fuse is not melted and the system uh, will uh, restart the operation without any, any problem. And sometimes we feel that at our houses, sometimes the power is lost for a few milliseconds and then come back, lost and come back and then stays come back. So this is how it will work if the fault is temporary. Now let's assume that the fault is permanent. It is a fault, short circuit, permanent in the system. Now again, the recloser will do the same thing. It will try twice, open, close, open, close very fast to protect the fuse. Now after the second time, if the fault is not cleared, then after that, the uh, recloser will basically reignite the system, but for a longer period. Why doing this? Now it wants to give the fuse the time to melt, the time to clear the fault. So now, once the fault is, we, we are going from the fast to the delay curve stage. Now the fuse becomes the primary protection system and the recloser becomes the backup. And it does that also for most of the time, two times, that it will give a longer delay. It would ignite the system under the fault condition 
for a longer time to give the fuse the required time so that it can clear the fault. What if the fuse for any reason did not clear the fault? Then basically the recloser will look out and it will open terminal and the whole feeder will lose power. But if the fuse active, only this portion will lose power and the recloser will be closed circuit and the power will be feed it for the for the other loads. So that is a brief description how the recloser operates and how it is coordinated with the with the fuse. 